Yeah, so a sentence, Cohen, you know, taking it again from the uh, divine agreement, here you say, avoiding or denying the needs or demands of the primitive mind can result in extraordinary mental or psychic disturbance. We, we want to say peace mind. The primitive is a strong word. Mm -hmm. it, it, kind of be, it could be relating to brute mind. Right. The primitive yeah. animal is not about animal, it's about peace. Mm -hmm. right? Like a little rabbit, right? Mm -hmm. Or like a bird. Right? Primitive, basic but good, basic goodness, the peaceful, the innocent, going back to that, right? unneurotic, right? peaceful mind. Right? For some people it's very hard to be that, right? maybe even impossible until they have sufficient uh, opportunity to access it. Right? So your question. Mm. Yeah, so I mean that definitely helps clear it up um because it seems like what you're saying then here is is that you know if you don't tend to this primitive mind or, or maybe just get some peace for yourself you know that that it can cause a lot of you know psychological you go on to say you know cause psychic disturbance spiritual imbalancement all manner of diseases and self-negating or self-destructive patterns of behavior so if you don't give yourself any peace then yeah I can uh, screw you up Right, so we're talking about self-responsibility there, uh, and that you you have to master your neuroses. That's why here it's called life mastery. You you master that. You recognize that you need to bring yourself to the uh, healing of peacefulness. It, it doesn't have to be continuous. It can be occasional, so that you have validation that you have capability to stop, look, and listen more deeply, which is critical for some people. Even even like a a glimpse of a miraculous moment for some people. They, they never knew they could be so peaceful. They never had that. And that that's who they actually are under certain conditions. That's who we always are under certain conditions. Right? The rest is layered. So when, once we come to terms of recognizing the that we're being the layers that we've inherited and assumed to be us or true to us from the culture. So it's added to us, what's added. So once we throw off all that's been added, there's, there's radiance, there's inner peace, there's beauty, there's lightness. It's like clearing the clouds for the sun. Once the clouds are cleared, then the sun is radiant, it's obvious, it's brilliant, it's powerful, warm. And that's going back to our heart nature, which is comparable to sun warmth, radiance, love, and so on. Yeah. Uh, question? <laughs> 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 <laughs>